to, I paid $4 for them to do this. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna cut the tag off. Now, in the process of, we are going, we're going to now get some scissors and we're going to get to it, right? So, what we're gonna do first is, first you're going to fold them right down the pants line here, the seam, like you would any other pants, okay? Now you don't wanna do it this way, you wanna do it this way, because that's where the seam will poke forward. See the seam right here, it'll poke forward. You want that forward seam, that way you get an even cut. See that? There you go. And what we're going to do now is we're going to cut these into chaps. But first what we're going to do is we're going to cut them into shorts. So you want to line this up right here. Oh, excuse me. Just cut them in. Okay, you're gonna line it up right here. You can pin it or do whatever you want to do to it. I normally just hold it. So, I don't use pins. Pins are not my friend like that. Um, so, now that we've gotten that, use my scissors that I normally use. I'm just gonna use this chair. Because this is how I would normally do it anyway. If I was by myself and nobody was here with me on this chair. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Now, take the crotch, put it there, put this here, like this, and now, hold it, and you can pin yours however you want, but I'm just going to hold mine. We just made shorts. We just made shorts now. Now, take the same thing here. We're going to put the legs down. Now we're going to turn these into chap shorts. Okay. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take them and lay them out again. This is the crotch part, but now I'm going to face that to me because I need to cut it. Now, when I face it to me, you can see this is facing me as it would face you also. Now, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to slowly go in. Right here, I'm basically cutting the crotch out. So you wanna cut into a circle and do not cut to the waistband. You wanna leave about five inches away from the waist. Okay. Now, and then it should look like also. this. And when you open it, it should actually be the crotch of the pants. Until then, until we get to that, what I'm going to show you is And when you pick it up, here. you should have chaps. What we have here is a chap. Okay. Booty out legs here. Okay. You're going to keep this like that. Do not cut the legs. Just cut where the crotch is. You can just take it and literally fold it and then sew it around. Okay. And we'll probably get into that, but I don't think it's necessary. I think most of you know how to trim by now. If you don't, go to my trim video and it will teach you how. But you can trim it or you can fold it. Okay? And then the cap. Now, now, I'm just gonna put this here so I don't lose them. <laughs> right? Now, this piece right here, what you're going to do is you're gonna lay it flat. This is gonna be a bikini top, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to lay it like this, flat. Then you're going to refold it and get it back together all over again, right? Just like that. 
put it on whatever side is good for you to cut. And now we are going to cut that bottom crotch off. Okay, cut the bottom crotch off. After you cut the bottom crotch off, you're going to minimize this just a little bit. You're basically going to cut a triangle out of the um, part that you just cut out of the crotch of the pants. And when you do that and you open it up, you're going to have one whole bikini top. So you're going to cut that bottom part off where the crotch is or where the crotch would be in the pants. And then straighten up the little piece and make sure that when you open it up, it makes a good triangle. bigger areolas so you have to keep that in mind so to you this may look crazy or it might be too wide but for the next girl that has a really giant areola this is perfect for her okay Boom. So this is your bikini top now we have chaps and a bikini top just right out of this one piece all right now what we're going to do is We're going to take one leg here. We have two legs, we'll take one. And this one leg, what you're going to do is you're going to cut the seam off. Cut this off, that edge. The sewn edge. You want to cut that off. You have the option to either cut it off if you don't feel like pulling out the string. I suggest pulling out the string because then you have more fabric. It gives you like literally a half an inch more fabric because you got a quarter inch and a quarter inch on both sides. You put them together, that makes a half. So, um, yeah, that's why I suggest that. Or you can just cut it off if you don't feel like doing that. But I'm going to sit here and I'm going to unravel this with my scissors and cut all the string off. And you do what you want to do. Okay, now you see me snipping the edge. So if you're going to cut it off, make sure you cut as close as possible to that thread, um, that, that seam that's threaded already, the sewn seam. Or if not, just cut right over it because I dismantle, dismantle all of the thread. And then you can just pull it apart, but you still got to take the little thread out, whatever. And you don't lose as much fabric. Now we have one whole piece of fabric here. See that? From one leg. Now we're going to take have one whole piece of fabric from one leg now what we're going to do is there's two things you can do with this you can easily make it a cow neck bodysuit where it hits like this and it goes down and the whole back is open which we can do too or what we can do also is create a bikini bottom on this also so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over. And we're going to go to the smallest part here and just cut this off. Just about three, four inches. Right here, you're basically just cutting the ankle off. If you notice, I'm just cutting the bottom part off. That's the ankle. So look at your ankle or your hand and the size of your hand sideways, not straight up and down, but turn it sideways, put it there. And then that way you can get a good piece for a thong, as you can see. And what you're going to do is cut it again into a triangle. Now, before I cut it into a triangle, I am definitely going to dismantle this thread. I'm going to de-thread it because I don't want to lose any more fabric, so I'm going to take the thread out of the hem here. When you do this part, you want to take the sharpest part of your scissor and literally put it up under the loop where the thread is connected to the pants 
or to whatever it is and you cut it. Keep cutting it until you get to the end and keep putting your scissors under the thread and keep cutting it. And then you can just pull it apart and take the thread out and it will not leave no holes behind. Just be careful where, where you stick your scissors so you don't leave holes behind. All right. All right. Okay, so you're basically getting this ready to become a um, G-string or thong bikini, getting it ready for your trim. So you can cut it into a good, clean, neat triangle. So you want to get rid of all extra hems and seams so you can do it how you want to do it. For me, I, I just like to keep more fabric. So. Okay, now I'm going to run these scissors through here politely take my time I'm doing this in real time and not sped up so you don't feel frustrated about how long it takes you because this is a small process it's not something you can just fly through but you can you know once you get better at it but in real life this is what you have to do take the sharpest part of your scissor and if you notice I'm running it right through all the little loops and cutting the loops and the loops only Now that I did that, I'm just going to pull this apart. And that should just come back like clockwork. It should come apart like, you know, clockwork, literally. And don't worry about any small holes you see, they'll recover. The fabric has memory. So just pull the thread out like you normally would anything else where a thread is coming out of. And now I'm running it through there again, my scissors. So do the same, take your time. You'll be fine. There we go. Then you just pick all the loose thread out. This is my preference. I, I just, why well, cut it when I know I can just dismantle it? And all the thread will just come out of it. Now, There goes that. Now we're gonna take this, fold this in half, and after we fold it in half, we're going to go ahead and create a panty. Down. 
don't need a pattern because I do this all the time. <laughs> but there it is. Okay. There goes the pan. Okay. And a bikini top and a chap. Right? So there we go. Now you got a full outfit. And I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like right now. So now you have the and that's how you make a bikini, top. bikini top. Bam. Pants. And you can flip those however you want to too. Then you have the panty. Bam. And then you have the chap. And chap. Out of one pair of stretch pants. And you trim that however you want to. And do it however you want. Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies. Enjoy. Yeehaw. <laughs> and they don't have to be sewn like this. You can also sew it like this. If you'd like to. Mm -hmm. There's all types of ways to sew this thing. But there you go. Do your trim or your visible elastic on either one of them. And then trim around the edges. Do not forget to cut the tag out. Cut the tags off. And you're ready to go. <laughs> And I am a dancer. Like, I dance, I dance, dance, uh, 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 dance, right? But this is one dance I can't seem to do. So, okay. Well, hey, watch me, nay, nay. Whip, whip, watch me, nay, nay. I cannot nay, nay, y'all. And then when I try to get back into the whip, it be so fucked up because I can't do the day day any goddamn way. So when I try to whip, yeah, see here, 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 and here, it don't go together. Like they just don't get together and do it. So <laughs> wait a minute. Whip. I gotta whip a little bit. We gonna whip a little bit. We gonna warm up the whip. Warm up. We warm it up the whip, the real car, right? the whip right and watch me nay nay and if for some reason my foot just don't want to come up off the ground after I get done doing that nay the, the nay not <laughs> it's a no nay that's what it is ain't no nay nay it's a no nay Like I'm goddamn like I'm I I I'm not I'm not even waiting for a ride. <laughs> Girl, why did they name? She could probably name name better than me, y'all. She could probably name name better. I need to put some chain in here. I probably put some chain in here eventually. She just got big old. No, I'm gonna put some chain in here, though. I just ain't did it yet. And I got two of these left to put chain on. She could probably name name better than me. Come on. Whip, hey, watch me, nay, nay. Whip, whip, watch me, nay, nay. Watch me, no, nay. Whip, and I can't, nay, nay. But I could whip, whip, but I can't, nay, nay. Damn, that shit hard, y'all. And then it seems like I'm working out. We just gonna give it a break. Here you go, girlfriend. Girlfriend back over there in the corner. She tired of me too, because the only thing I can do is whip and no name. Okay, my no name ain't got no name.
okay, I don't know how to nay nay. And it makes me mad, but I'm so happy that the dance trend is over with. So, ooh, watch me see. And after I get done doing that motherfucking... <laughs> after I get done, I can whip. I know what arm to use. For some reason, my arm and, and the waist don't, they just don't catch up with each other and I can't catch up. My toes just, whew, you know what? I'm really smart. I'm very smart. But when it comes to that, high, that hand, eye, and everything, am I doing it? Am I doing it? Am I doing it? Am I doing it? It almost feel right. It almost feel right. I think I almost got it, y'all. We're gonna give it a break. It's like I'm waving at a Hawaii parade and shit. Like, let me sit down. Thank you for watching.